today we're going to be looking at this super cool, extremely weird mechanism known as multiple gearing. Hi, I'm Sam, and today we're going to be looking at this mechanism called multiple gearing. So I found this a little while ago on the internet, and it really intrigued me. We have this drive gear that splits off in three directions and goes to these rollers, and then we have this driven gear with uh, these six channels that they can pass through. And as you turn the drive gear, it spins the driven gear as well. And this really piqued my interest, so I did some digging on it and found out that there's no information on this at all. So I found this on a website called 507 Mechanical Movements, and other than that website, I can't find anything on it. I can't find any machines that it might be used in, or applications, or really just any research done into it. So it really intrigued me. I don't know if it's the most useful mechanism, but I found it really cool. So I drew up a quick model of it in SolidWorks, and I wasn't entirely sure exactly how it worked until I started modeling it, but it turns out the key is that you need to have the center of the driven gear exactly as far away as these rollers are from the center of the drive gear. Meaning that here's this shaft that comes in and this arm extends up 20 millimeters when it's pointing straight up. We need to have this shaft situated exactly 20 millimeters over the other one. So I designed this with 3D printing in mind. Um, I tried to make the clearances as close as possible without binding. Uh, but this is my very first iteration. I haven't printed it yet, so let's send it to the printer and see how it works. Okay, so I got it printing, and it's going to go through the night tonight, and I'm not going to time lapse it because the battery on my camera is just about to die, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh. <coughs> so I just got this print off my Cheaty Tech X1, and the first thing that I can definitely tell is I'm going to need to drill out that hole a little bit does not fit in smoothly. Um, I kind of expected that. 3D printing isn't amazing with holes. And the other thing is, I didn't really think this through when I was designing it, but obviously there's no way to slip this in from the small side. So I'm gonna have to slip this in from the taller side and reverse that and see if that works. So I'm gonna go grab a drill bit and drill those out and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've drilled out the holes to the point where these shafts will fit in and turn at least semi-smoothly for a 3D print. So I'm going to go ahead and connect those all up. I think this all should fit correctly. I'm just going to snap this hexagon into the larger circle. And may have to stretch it a little bit to fit them past each other. All right. There it goes. Perfect. Okay, now I don't know if these rollers fit or not. Looks like they fit at least decently well. Let's see if the crank fits. Look at that. It turns. That is just so weird to watch. Now, I think that this turns at about a 1 to 2 ratio. You can see when I turn this crank all the way around, this thing has gone about halfway. But I'm going to quick pull out a marker so I can measure that a bit uh, better and see exactly what it is. Okay, so I'm just going to mark this one right at the top, and this one right at the top. Turn it so both are visible. Okay, so when we turn this one 360 degrees, you can see that one went 180 degrees. So yes, this is about 1 to 2. I don't know if it's exactly 1 to 2 or if it's some very close number. But, I, I mean, I don't know, again, I can't think of a really practical use for this. I'm just fascinated with watching it turn around and around. And it does bind up sometimes, obviously. I mean, it's 
plastic on plastic, so you can't expect super smooth motion out of it, but I'm really excited about it. So since my proof of concept works so well, I'm going to go ahead and design and print version 2. I'm going to print it in a couple of different colors and adjust some lengths and tolerances to make everything fit a little bit better. Okay, so I'm back here and I've modeled V2. You can see it looks very similar. Um, I switched around the two sides of the geared mechanism, so this one's on the taller side. I figured that worked fine, so why modify a lot of parts to make it work when I can just put it together like that? And really the main things I did was adjust the tolerances on these two shafts and make them a bit shorter so it'll be easier to fit everything together. So let's go ahead and print it. Okay, so I just got all these prints off the bed and these two came off with a little bit of stringing and honestly I think that's because they're Hatchbox versus Amazon Basics. I tend to get much better results with the Amazon Basics filament than with the Hatchbox, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this all together and see how it turns. So even with over half a millimeter of clearance, it's not fitting in too well. I'm going to go ahead and sand down the shaft and see how it fits after that. That seems to have made a big difference and now it turns fairly smoothly. Next the uh, connector goes in, and that one fits very smoothly. So I don't know what's up with that, they should be the exact same tolerance. It's put together, let's see if it spins. A little bit of binding there. I think I just need to pull this back a little bit. So it turns out that this side had a little bit too much wobble in the system, so I I put a little bit of painter's tape around the shaft to make sure that it fits a little bit better, and I'm gonna put that together and see how that works. So you can see that it's not wobbling as much. It's a little bit more of a firm fit. So let's go ahead and put that together right now. I'm just gonna slide that in there. Put this in. Slide the disc over top of that. I'm just going to slide this forward so it engages. There it is, it's all slid together. And look at that. It works flawlessly. I'm so happy with that. It really was some of the most fun I've ever had making a video. I really like watching that thing move. Um, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and if you'd like me to do more series like this. And don't forget to check out the model on 3dpassion.com. See you later.